Welcome back to another webinar presented by Profit Business Group. I am Colin Pick, and you may remember me from other Business Central webinars. Today we're going to take a look at applying payments to invoices. We'll start by identifying invoices that need to be paid, and then we'll move along and I'll show you how to apply payments either during the payment process or after a payment has been processed. Continuing on, I'll also highlight the bank statement import features available to us in Business Central to help in reconciling our banks. We'll take a look at the Yodli Bank Feed Service and the option to import transactions from a CSV file. Let's jump into Business Central to take a look. Okay, so here we are on my Business Central uh, demo environment. Uh, so first question is, how do we identify uh, vendors and open invoices in the system? Well, I can use my tile here on the home page, uh, Outstanding Vendor Invoices. We can see there's 31 in the system. So if I click on this here, it'll show all 31 in the system. And so we can see we're presented with a whole slew of invoices that are available to be paid now. Um, the ones here listed in red are more urgent, and that's because they are past their due date. So just a quick visual indicator there, uh, indicating that these ones are probably ones you want to focus on. So as we kind of uh, review this list, we can see that these ones all have remaining amounts and therefore they are all in open status. Okay, and uh, as I look through the list here, I can see there is uh, quite a bit for vendor number uh, 10,000. So let's work with that vendor. I'm gonna navigate now to my uh, payment journal and I'll create a payment for that vendor and we'll apply it to some of those outstanding invoices. So I'm going to use the, the default dates here in the system. We got a document number already generated for us and my account number. I'm going to choose vendor 10,000, which is Fabricam. Uh, I'm not going to enter an amount because that is going to be automatically generated when I choose the invoices I want to pay. So let's do that now. I'm going to go to process and apply entries. And now we can see we're greeted with all of those uh, invoices in the system that we saw earlier, but this is now filtered only for vendor number 10,000, as we can see by this little filtering sign here. Okay, and so if I want to choose which um, payments I want or which invoices I want to pay with my payment, I can go to process now and set my applies to ID. And so this G04001 number, this is my actual document number here. Right, so what it's doing is telling us that um, payment G04001 is paying these two invoices, okay? So I'm going to also set my applies to ID for this invoice as well. And so we can see here that um, I do get now a balance here showing. And I'm going to hit OK. And now this populates as my um, amount. So just going to go a little bit further here and finish my payment. So we can see that um, I'm going to be paying it out of the checkings account and we'll do a computer check. And basically that's all I would need to do to process a payment and apply it to invoices. Okay, so let us next consider the scenario where a payment has been entered into the system, but at the time of entry of that payment, it was not applied to any invoices. How would we go ahead and apply that payment to the invoices after the fact? Well, that's a very simple answer, and I'm going to navigate over to my vendor listing, and I'm going to choose my Fabricam vendor here. And we can see that we do have one payment entered in, and this one does not um, have anything applied to it yet. And we have two um, unapplied invoices as well. So how do we apply this payment to these invoices? Well, simply, we're going to go to process and apply entries. So we're greeted with a very similar window that we would have saw on our payment application window. And so what we want to do is confirm the amount. So that's the amount of our payment. And we can see there is a balance here. So to apply the payment to these invoices, I'm going to use process and set my applies to ID. And this time it's going to um, use my vendor ID. Um, sorry, it's going to use my user ID as the applies to ID. OK, and I'm going to do the same thing with my other vendor or with my other invoice. I'm going to set the applies to ID. And uh, once that's done, we can see my balance goes down to zero. And so when I'm finished with this, I can go to process and post application. Okay. 
and we can see my application was successfully posted and now I no longer have any outstanding um, invoices due for payment. All right, guys, so the last thing I want to talk to you about today would be the uh, bank statement importing features available to us in Business Central. So I'm going to navigate to one of our bank statements here. And I'm not going to get into too much detail in regards to these importing features. I just want to make you aware that they are available um, and that uh, we do have many options available to us as well. So, um, oops, I put in bank statement. I'm going to go into bank reconciliations here instead. And I'm going to pull up um, one of our bank reconciliations available to us in the system. So there are um, three different ways I can mention right now that we can get on uh, bank statement lines for our bank reconciliation. So the first um, method I want to talk about is just the manual entry method. So this would be straight up coming in here on my bank statements line section and just manually entering in the transactions that you see on your bank statement. Okay, so uh, as you can imagine, this is incredibly time consuming and, um, you know, uh, there is a high chance of error when doing this. Okay, because it's data entry and you're entering lots of um, transactions and you can see how possibly this could, um, uh, you know, cause errors. Uh, the other option available to us would be um, to import our bank transactions from a file. So for example, a CSV file, I have gone on and uh, set up my demo company here to allow for the importing of um, bank statements via CSV. Um, it is quite an intensive process. So reach out to Profit if you would like help in uh, setting up your um, business central for that. And, and as well as how you would have to um, modify your file to make it available to import. I'm just going to show you quickly the file that I'm going to be importing here in the system. So we can see here, I just have a simple um, four, a three line file with four different columns. So we got the date, um, the vendor ID or the uh, description and the amount and what my document number is going to be. Okay. So if I have everything set up correctly in the system, as I should, all you're going to have to do is go to bank, import your statement. You'll choose your file. And now it's into the system. Okay, so we can see we got all my transactions here with the amounts and um, what the descriptions are. Okay, so then from here you can go ahead and use your auto um, match automatically, or you could match manually to your transactions in the system. The final method I wanted to talk about was um, importing your transactions using the Yodly Bank Fee Service. So um, this one's not actually set up here. Um, in the system at this time, but I'll just talk about it briefly for you. So um, if you were set up with the Yodley Bank Feed Service, all you would have to do would be go to bank and import your, your bank statement, and it's going to pull up another window that's going to ask you, you know, from which um, bank you want to import your transactions and for which date. Okay, so that service links directly to your bank account and you can start importing transactions um, daily if you'd like and you know based on your cutoff date it's going to pull in all the transactions that you don't already have in there right so that allows you to import transactions in real time and allows you to stay um, incredibly up to date with your bank reconciliations and um, it's very simple to use and very time saving um, so if you would like help with that as well please reach out to profit and we'd be glad to set that up for you Thanks.